Welcome back to another Fourier series presentation. In this particular presentation, I would like to go over the Fourier series and linear systems. How can we use those two concepts to quickly analyze a problem? And essentially what we're doing is we're combining the superposition principle with the knowledge that we now possess relative to how to compute the sinusoidal steady state response of a system when it's excited by a single sinusoid. And what the Fourier series does is it creates a sinusoidal representation of a periodic waveform. We now have all of this sinusoidal input information. We can apply each of those terms to the linear system using our sinusoidal steady state response expression and end up with when we sum all of those pieces together the complete response or the output response. Let's look at an example and I hope that th by this point that example is screaming at you in terms of what it is. That's a passive first order low pass filter and you should be very comfortable with that what we would like to do is analyze what happens if we now apply to that or use as our input excitation voltage a half wave rectified sine wave or what's going to happen if we now low pass filter this half wave rectified sine wave and we have in the previous material we've hopefully better understood where this expansion comes from or this trigonometric Fourier series expansion for the half wave rectified sine wave. Hopefully we're comfortable with what those coefficients or how we can obtain those coefficients. And we see that we have just one fundamental term, fundamental frequency term, and that's the sine piece. The other harmonics are coming to us as cosines and they are falling off in magnitude as a function factor of n squared, we do have a DC offset which is the maximum amplitude of that half wave rectified sine wave divided by pi. And again, wherever you see this omega naught, that's 2 pi over the fundamental period, capital T. In order to analyze this problem, or what does the output V sub 0 of T look like when we apply to that system V sub G of T, where V sub G of T is this half wave rectified sine wave, I hope what you're starting to see is, oh, now I know what I can do because now I really just have a linear combination of freak sinusoids. And in particular, these sinusoids are harmonically related or they're simply integer multiple relationships of each other in terms of their frequencies. In order to do this analysis, we do need to find a way of describing this linear system. In this case, it's a very simple system, but in general, you now try to find the transfer function of this system that you're given. In our case, we can find that by a simple voltage divider in the S domain. We have the impedance of the capacitor divided by the sum of the two impedances, the resistor and the capacitor. If we clear the fractions, then we end up with a transfer function, capital H of S, in time constant form. And our time constant is RC, and this is a first order system. Our pole is at the value of S that causes that denominator to vanish, and our pole is at minus 1 over RC or minus 1 over tau. In order to evaluate these expressions, we are going to need the frequency content or how does this system pass the frequency content that we're pushing through it. And for that reason, we can find H of J omega by replacing S everywhere in our transfer function with J omega and we simply now need to evaluate that transfer function at the sinusoidal frequencies of interest and those are harmonically related to the fundamental period and we then have 
frequency content at omega zero, two omega zero, four omega zero, etc. And the steady state output response is then just going to be that system transfer function evaluated at the appropriate frequencies. And in particular, we have a DC component that's going to take the system's transfer function at DC. That's the magnitude of H of J0. We then scale the first harmonic, the omega naught T, I'm sorry, the omega naught term in the sine by the magnitude of our transfer function at the, fre the fundamental frequency omega naught and change the argument in the or the angle inside the argument, and that's going to be modified by the phase of the system at the fundamental frequency omega naught. And finally, we can then add in all of these other pieces or harmonic components based on how the transfer function is behaving at these higher harmonics, which in this case for a half wave rectified sine wave, those will only be even harmonic components and we can then just isolate on those particular magnitudes and angles of our transfer function and plug those in in the appropriate manner. What we've really shown then is that we're replacing this generic periodic waveform signal V sub G of T with a collection of a DC, a fundamental, and the higher harmonics, and we can then analyze the response of this system to each of those individually. We can superimpose those or use superposition to find the total response V sub zero of T in the steady state, and that's going to just be the combination of all of these responses due to these individual inputs. And that is a very quick overview of how you apply the Fourier series expansion with linear systems to very quickly obtain the output response of a system due to a generic periodic waveform.